right. You must be the new COM 212 class, TV studio production. I just got back from room 30 where I checked out this equipment. And by checked out, I mean I went in and took it because there was no one there. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. You could check to make sure everything's there, but we don't really need to because you guys all put it back, right? The next step is to set up the tripod. So let's take it out. It's got about three legs, hopefully. You can separate them with all your might if you're really strong, but I just make the professor do it. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy! No, but like the... the next step is to make sure your tripod legs are all level. To do that, you just want to eyeball it. The little bubbles you see are for decoration. I gotta keep fixing these things all the time. People drive me insane. God, I hate this. I don't even get paid for this. All right, that was great, guys. There's a lot of things that come in these bags that you probably don't need. I wouldn't really know what, but I, d I just, you don't need it, okay? You just throw it, throw it, throw it away. great if there were some sort of device, like a plate or something, I don't know, that would get the camera to screw on and stay really steady, but we don't have anything like that. I don't think that's even a thing, so we're just going to balance it really carefully and try not to drop it, okay? Okay. It comes with the... Hmm, never mind. The battery comes with two cameras, and you could try charging them before you have to film, but I don't know why. Your camera comes with two... <laughs> Your camera comes with two batteries, and it also comes with a charger, but you shouldn't really need it before you start filming. After all, you guys would all charge your batteries before putting them back, right? 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 <laughs> to turn the camera on, you just hit all of the buttons at once, and hopefully one of them will do something for you. Personally, I like to keep the lens cap closed because I think it protects the glass of the lens. But like, I don't know, if that's not your prerogative, it's whatever. A lot of instructions will tell you to white balance. However, that is an old school, offensive, and antiquated way of doing film. Instead, we balance to any color. Raft blue shirt, balancing. Stay very still. This is what equality looks like. A lot of textbooks will tell you there's only three kinds of lighting. Backlight, fill light, and some other kind of light that I don't care about. But they never tell you about cell phone light. Hit the lights! I'm your biggest fan. The next step to a perfect video is maintaining your audio. Some people like to use headphones or earbuds, but I don't believe in that type of black magic. So instead, we have to be one with our camera. You have to put your ear really close and listen to the voices inside tell you where to aim. That's it. That's it. A very important part of camera manning, which is the technical term, um, is shot composition. So you want to make sure that your shot is very steady, that it doesn't move around a lot. You want to make sure that you have enough lead room, which is the space to the side, and enough headroom, which is the space right above you. You can also look up, if you want to get really intense, into the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds creates a grid on the screen and shows you the correct place to position someone for aesthetically pleasing images. I think you guys got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys have got it all down by now. Next, all you have to do is hit the record button. 
which you all know how to do, so I don't need to show you which one it is. Anyway, so this performance has been filmed in front of a live studio audience, our new Comp 212 class, and I just want to thank you guys for your participation and just showing how much you really care about RTF in this class and everything, and I think we should give you a round of applause. Under, over, under. Did I get the extra credit? <laughs>